Hi guys, so in this short video, I'm going to try and talk about all the important topics that come from surgery from a neat point of view. So firstly, the most important segment that can be asked in surgery is the segment of trauma. So at least two, three questions will come from trauma and trauma is the most asked. So in trauma, we have head trauma, chest trauma, abdominal trauma, and more importantly, the general management of trauma. So in the general management trauma, it's important to know about the ABC, every breathing and circulation and DE also and how to go about it. So basically something about the primary survey indications for intubation and whatnot. So that is mildly important. Coming to chest trauma, the important stuff again, I've written in purple, include ICD, when to insert ICD, what's, uh, what are the advantages of ICD and needle thoracotomy. Rib fractures, particularly flail chest is really important. Tension pneumothorax and pneumothorax, more importantly, tension pneumothorax, very commonly asked. Cardiac tamponade and how to differentiate tension pneumothorax and cardiac tamponade, your back striat basically. Little bit about needle pericardiocentesis also. Other than that, uh, sometimes asked are the indications for thoracotomy. So when do you do a thoracotomy in case of chest trauma? So when is a CTV assertion required? So all of this, mildly important, very important is ICD and rib fractures. Next, zones of neck injury, sometimes asked, just the zones if you know it's more than enough. Coming to abdominal trauma, fast and e-fast, frequently asked. Splenic injury is very, very, very important, frequently asked, especially your AAST classification, that is grade one to grade five of splenic injury and management according to grading. So yes, splenic injury important, liver, liver injury, and not as important, but splenic injury, but good to know. Bladder injury, especially your intraperitoneal and extraperitoneal and whatnot is very important. So knowing about pelvic injury and bladder injury is important. Frequently neglected, you know, everyone tends to focus on liver and spleen, but bladder is as important, if not more important. So don't miss out bladder injuries. Next, head trauma, which is, you can expect a sure shot or a hundred percent, you can expect a question from head trauma. So in head trauma, the very, very, very important topics, the most important, probably the most important topic for the entrance exam as a whole, not just from surgery, but for the exam as a whole is your GCS. So don't miss out on GCS. Make sure you read GCS. You're, make sure you're an expert at GCS because that's sure shot for marks. EDH, SDH, and how they appear on CT, that is your extradural and subdural hematoma, how they appear on CT is very important. They're frequently asked questions. Features of raised intracranial pressure and the Cushing's triad, it's important that you know them and management of raised ICP. So all of this super important. So it's all in purple, very, very important. Also something which is less important, but can be asked are your base of skull fractures. So all your features of your anterior, middle and posterior fossa fractures, which include your battle sign and rhinorrhea, epistaxis, whatnot, CSF rhinorrhea and epistaxis and whatnot. So all of that gets super important. So base of skull fractures are kind of important, but these are gold standard and you have to have to have to know these. Everything I've written in purple. Next, in burns, the really important part is knowing about fluid calculation or calculating the fluid requirement for burns, particularly the Parkland formula. Other than that, the degree of burns, that is a classification of burn, and the percentage of burns. In this, particularly the Wallace rule of nine. So all of this is very important for the exam. Again, one of the most important topics for any exam per se is the hemorrhagic and hypovolemic shock. So you have to know shock in and out. Next, breast. So in breast, I think CA breast is the most important. So knowing everything about CA breast is uh, necessary. It's diagnosis, the investigations done, treatments, different types of mastectomy. So basically CA breast is very important. So make sure you read that. Mildly important topics include fibroadenoma, phyllodes tumor and duct ectasia. Also sometimes the difference between eczema and Paget's disease comes in. But yeah, CA breast is the most important and must do topic in breast. When it comes to thyroid, the most important and must do topic is the approach to a solitary nodule. So how do you treat and investigate a solitary nodule becomes very important. So solitary nodule, hyper hypothyroidism, I, I told in the previous video too, it is the most important topic from thyroid. Men's syndromes, again important. Medullary and papillary carcinoma are the more frequently asked carcinomas which come from thyroid. Parathyroid, everything about parathyroid including hyperparathyroidism and hypo to some extent are important. Ages and AIM scores, good to know but not really a must know. Coming to urology, so very few questions are usually asked from urology. So the important topics from urology obviously would include your calculi. So management of renal stones, torsion testis versus epididym orchitis, primary versus secondary hydrocele can be asked sometimes and posterior urethral valve is frequently asked. So posterior urethral valve and also your vesicourethric reflex is super important. So make sure that you read these at least if not anything else from urology. 
Next comes liver. So in liver, the coronal segments of liver is very important. Knowing the segments of liver is important and it, that is frequently asked. Hydrated cyst, MEB caps is sometimes asked. Very important to know your child POOG score and MELD score. Again, frequently asked. Their applications are usually asked. So child POOG score and MELD score are very important. Types of hepatectomy, fairly important. Pringles menu are fairly important. But if you know child POOG and MELD score, then you are in a good position. And, and I think you should know that. There's, that's a must know. So again, it's in purple because it's a must know. In oral cavity, pre-malignant lesions of the oral cavity is the only really, really important thing. So under this, you should know about leukoplakia, erythroplakia, and submucous fibrosis. Of course, there are many more, but these three you should know in some detail. Carcinoma, buccal carcinoma, and tongue carcinoma are also fairly important. So good to know. With them, also have a look at neck dissections. So when you read this, also read about neck dissection. Next, GIT. So GIT, I've tried to compress it as much as I can because you know how vast GIT gets. So in GIT, Mallory weed tear, mildly important, but the rest, everything in purple is very important. Barrett's esophagus, probably the most important topic from GIT. So Barrett's esophagus, approach to a UGI bleed, again, the second most important topic. Bariatric surgery, more frequently asked these days. So Barrett's esophagus, UGI bleed and bariatric surgery are a must know. Coming after that, we have acute pancreatitis, which I already discussed yesterday. Cholidocal cysts, frequently asked, along with cholangitis. So it's important to know your uh, charcoal triad and Raynaud's pentad also. So cholidocal cyst and cholangitis, important from the bile duct. Pseudocyst of pancreas and cystic neoplasm, so pan pancreas, again, very important. So everything in purple is super important. The Everything in brown is, mild, uh, is moderately important. So CA colon, polyps, different types of polyps, knowing, knowing about FAP, uh, your familial adenomatous polypososis and uh, okay you got it uh, putz jagger syndrome adenoma carcinoma sequence and types of hemicolectomy all mildly and moderately important rather paralytic alias and causes of paralytic alias important volvulus intersusception and radiological signs associated with both volvulus intersusception and also with obstruction very important also your air under diaphragm signs perforation signs important carcinoid again frequently asked with a history of basically the its serotonin secreting na nature and the symptoms caused by that so that would be the history given in the clinical uh, scenario given to you so carcinoid important appendix in appendix acute appendicitis and your uh, Alvarado score can be important. So those are these are mildly important. But make sure everything in purple you know really well. And even the ones in brown you should know to a good degree. Uh, so yeah, these are the must-know topics from uh, GIT. Lastly, uh, coming to a few other topics which are important. Cleft lip and cleft palate frequently asked. Massive blood transfusion or whole blood transfusion and complications associated with blood transfusion is frequently asked. DVT and DVT profile axis is frequently asked. Pleomorphic adenoma, Warthin's tumor of parotid can be asked. Total parental nutrition, its complications and indications are important, should know them. Causes of postoperative fever, it's more practical but can be asked. Negative pressure dressings can be asked. BPH, CA prostrate, sometimes asked. But more importantly, PSA, prostate specific antigen, is very significant. So I think these are few additional topics which can be helpful. And I've, this is actually covering around 60 to 70 percent of surgery. But I try to really try and limit this to the only only the important topics. So if you can't do anything, make sure you do trauma, head trauma. And if you if you don't have time at all, just do GCS at least, because you are definitely going to get at least four marks for sure if you know GCS really well. Minimum four. GCS is that important. So yeah. Thank you. See you in the next video.